<laughs> Hi family, how are you? Okay, the bed was really creaking before and it was really irritating me. But I want to ask some questions, okay? I'm going to try and pick some cards from here. Um, to see how Lisa Marie Presley feels about what her mum is doing. Okay? So I want to say RIP to Lisa Marie Presley. And I'm just going to go in. Just going to go in. Black smoke coming off of it. Here we go. Three of coins. Clarification card, please, Lisa. Um, are you saying that your mother and two other people are involved in this? There's three people. One is a dragon, one is a joker, and one is her mother. And the lover's card here in reverse. Um, Lisa doesn't approve of the relationship that her mother is having with one of these people. I flipping knew it. Family, I was in the shower yesterday and no word of a lie. Let me show you these cards again. Lisa's talking about three people. Okay. Three of coins there. And the lover's card in reverse. That's Priscilla there. That beauty and the beast energy. Well, the beauty is Priscilla, but the beast is somebody else. That's one of these people on the card. What Lisa is saying is that, number one, her mum is involved with somebody. And that there are three people involved in this action. But, but Priscilla is the face that we can see, okay? Three people are fighting Riley, not one. Two, Priscilla is having a, a romantic love affair that that um and physical affair with one of these people okay so we've got priscilla and two men one of which that she's having a relationship with and lisa marie presley does not approve of this relationship that her mom is having with this rotter okay lisa is saying that one that this man is after the money I was in the shower yesterday, pure black smoke coming off of there. I was in the shower yesterday, family. And would you believe it came to me? I said to myself, hold on a second. I wonder if Priscilla is being influenced. Yes, she's being influenced by Scientology. Yes, it's probably a man. But I wonder if the two of them are in something romantically. I wonder if the two of them are, you know, she and the guy is making love and he's influencing her that way. Family, it can happen. Look at Sheer with Amber Rose's. Nobody doesn't even know who Amber, none of Sheer's friends know who Amber Rose is. But yet Sheer is engaged to this former porn star, ex C list celebrity boyfriend. All right, hold on a second. Lisa, tell me more about that man. The man that your mother's seeing, who you don't like. Lisa's saying that this man had been contacting her, phoning her. I'm going to put the candle down. Contacting her and phoning her, and she was avoiding his calls. She didn't want to speak to him, and any time she did speak to him, she got very, very upset. Disclaimer, this is for entertainment purposes only. <clears throat> so Priscilla <laughs> Priscilla when she came out yesterday and said that people should ignore the noise those weren't your words were they Priscilla when I heard those words and I saw it 
on TMZ or whatever it was, family, that Priscilla said, people should ignore the noise. She's trying to keep her family together. And da, 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 da. Priscilla, those were not your words. I hate that for her, that that Priscilla is basically a, a sound box for this guy, one of them guys on the Three of Coins card, the one who her daughter hated, the one who kept phoning, what are you phoning Lisa for and harassing Priscilla's daughter for? Why were you harassing her and putting pressure on Family, remember I did the reading, I said there was two people inside the room, that Priscilla was fighting with someone, before. there was a tussle, and she had a document in her hand before she died, but there was two people there, there was one, there was two people there, because at some point, somebody went through her drawers after she died, or after she went into cardiac arrest, or after she, when she was at the hospital, something like that, but there was two people going, so that's disclaimer, Priscilla and the guy. Priscilla and her boyfriend were going through Lisa Marie's things while she was at hospital. Can you believe this family? Isn't this some wild horse manure? Mm -hmm. I feel dizzy. Hold on a second, I just need to, um, hmm. well, I'll be. Mm -hmm. So you mean to tell me, man, look, you mean to tell me that Lisa Marie was, was in hospital and you see, and even that is, is really, really weird because you know what I'm picking up family that Lisa Marie could have lived. But just like how Priscilla is taking and making joint decisions with somebody who she's not even married to. It's just your boyfriend. Not even married to dude. And yet he's telling you what to do with your daughter. And going through your daughter's things with you, disclaimer, when she's suffering in hospital. Or even when she was dead pronounced dead. Man. <laughs> I knew it. Yesterday it came to me. I said, I wonder if I look now. Lover's card in reverse. Lisa never liked the guy. She never liked the guy for you. Tell me more about this guy. Thank you, Lord Demire. Tell me more about this man. Priscilla Presley's boyfriend, close friend, lover, who Lisa did not like. The one who influences. The one who influenced Priscilla to take legal action against her granddaughter. The one who influenced Priscilla. Possibly to take Lisa off of life support. Was she on life support? Two of Wands. Well, let me tell you something. See this man here with two faces, this two of wands and the, the bay leaf floral victory crown that he's wearing and you've got two 
two staffs and he's there walking and his face is turned in two different directions, that type of guy who always wins. You've got something else going on somewhere else with somebody else. So he's not just with Priscilla. And here we have it. You know, they say there's no fool like an old fool. Have you heard of that before, family? <laughs> but usually it applies to, usually it applies to rich older men who get this younger piece of fluff, younger fancy piece. And all she does is grin and stick her boobs out and wear high heels and doesn't do very much else. <laughs> and this old man will blow his retirement and his life savings and sell his properties and cut off his children and annoy everybody else <laughs> and annoy everybody else in the world just for his little bit of big boobied bit of fluff. Long weave, long blonde hair, big blue eyes, pouty lips, long nails, very brassy, tart. <laughs> Spending the old guy's money. Well, this is not an old guy. This is Priscilla. <laughs> She's got this guy. I don't know his age, but he's definitely influencing her and he's not loyal. He's got somebody else somewhere else. And no doubt, taking Priscilla's money from her very large salary from Graceland and giving it to whoever he's with. <laughs> and if he's not married, you can bet it's a much younger chick. Hold on, he's part of Scientology. And the girl that he's with is in Scientology as well. She's a Scientologist too. <laughs> Disclaimer, entertainment purposes only, but this is what's coming up psychically, family. So Priscilla, <clears throat> your man's side chick is also a Scientologist and you'll probably know her. She's smiling in your face. And all the time she wants to take your place, the backstabbers, backstabbers. <laughs> Don't be cruel. <laughs> Don't be cruel. Yeah, that guy going to be real cruel to you. And when you, if, if some silly judge is convinced by that okey doke paperwork that you and this guy are going to put together and give to your attorney to give to the judge. <laughs> if that is successful and you destroy your family over this dude and his decisions while he got something else going on with some little chiquita hmm, in Scientology, your friend. He's playing you like a fiddle. <laughs> playing, and he's very successful at this. He's done this type of thing before. He's a good talker. He's making you think that you can be successful and victorious in this, isn't he? Hmm? And then he's come up with some kind of funny idea about how you can make it all back up with. Riley and how you could mend it. You cannot mend this. Don't bet on this guy. Because when he's long gone with his little bit, his little floozy, little bit of cotton candy, you're going to be left there, older, wiser, bitter, your daughter gone. Granddaughter Riley and great-granddaughter kept well away from you because they're surrounded by people who love them and they don't want to see you hurt them. And when that guy, Michael Lockwood, gets what he wants, he's going to cut you off from them girls as well. And you're going to have to wait until they come 
come and find you when they're 18. That's if he doesn't poison their mind against you in the what? Six years before they're 18? All privileges cut off. Because you see, your advocate, your daughter, Lisa Marie, who advocated for you even when you were doing some shysty, funny, weird moves, she's not there anymore. And you've already shown Riley your cards. So what are you going to do? Lean back on Scientology when they all know what's going on. Don't they? They know what that guy is doing. But they're not telling you. And then when it all comes out in the wash, everything will be... Do a course. We've recommended that he does this, this, and this course. Of course, he can do all the courses because he's going to use your money. He's going to use Elvis's money, Lisa Marie's life insurance money to pay for little crappy courses to understand why he did what he did. But that's not important, Priscilla. The important thing is why you do what you do. Ain't really got much to do with this guy. It's about you. And why you're so easily persuaded. I'm going to stop this reading here, but I have a whole lot more to do. See, this is about morals. It's about what is right. And it's about the heart, the harm the hurt and the harm that we do when we allow other people to infiltrate our families, we allow third parties to turn our minds, when we allow our ego to lead us, when we have no divine, when we don't lean on our ancestors, when we put our faith in one person, in one idea, Your daughter said that she was very, very intuitive. That she always looked beneath the surface of things. And you knew she didn't like that guy. But you continue to hang around him. And so much so that you continue to involve him in your family affairs. When he's not involving you in his affairs. To ask yourself, is this going to be worth it? Is this worth it in the long run? And let's face it, all of us are getting older. Some of us don't even have a long run. My name is Miss Sam. And this has been about... Just everything to do with Lisa Marie Presley, the 38 million life insurance policy, her mother, what Lisa feels and what she felt about her mother doing this type of thing and it was revealed that there's some guy in the cut, in the back, influencing and talking through Priscilla and she's allowing him to do that. I don't mind telling you this makes me mad as a hatter. And um, I'm just wondering if Navarone, your son, is fine with this. You know, if your son knows that this guy is playing you for a fiddle. Disclaimer, entertainment purposes only. But your son, I'm sure your son don't like this type of thing. Ashe, bless, www.celestialtarotreadings.com. 
Auntie Sam perched on the end of this bed in the room that I don't sleep in, in my chalet here in Egypt, baby, in Luxor, Egypt. If it wasn't so cold, I'd go out there on the patio. Well, the patio is over there. The terrace is over there. And there's another one here. <sighs> Excuse me. Makes me mad, family. Makes me mad. You know, you know, sometimes you get so mad that, like, well, you don't, but, and I don't usually, but, like, when something, when there's like a leap of common, common sense, and, Like the Presley Empire and Graceland is at stake, right? I had people comment on my videos and they said, Miss Sam, can you do a reading to find out if they're going to close down Graceland? People are, <laughs> you know, do you understand? Please don't let this guy just come in and break up a good thing destroy a good thing you loved Elvis you loved him so much that you allow Scientology and some bloke <laughs> who's got a side chick to mess up what you and Lisa built Lisa acknowledged that Priscilla grafted and worked hard to turn Graceland into what it is so all of that hard work you want it to be undone by this, on the say so of some some guy. <sighs> He's not God. He's not a supreme being. He has blood running through his veins, just like all of us. He uses the bathroom like all of us. Somebody need to shake you. Somebody need to give you some smelling sauce. We come to your senses. Something. Sniff some Vicks. Do something. Put some lime coat in your hand and smell it in the hair. Come back to your senses. Because this guy is not it. You don't want to lose your family, do you? Lisa gone. Ben gone. Elvis gone. And you weren't even married to Elvis when he passed away. He had a number of girlfriends and established relationships. You wasn't in his life like that. And we know that he left everything to Lisa. We know that she was just a wee child. So you had to step in. But now, lady, it's Riley's turn. And it's Riley's right. Truth be known, even if the paperwork was fraudulent, Riley's name, it goes to Riley, even if the paperwork is fraudulent. Why be bloody minded about it? Allow your grandbaby to have what her mother left her. Them twin girls are growing up and they're getting older by the day. How much time you think they're going to have for you? And just as you're being influenced, disclaimer, their father is there influencing them as well. And you're going to find out that you can't do right. You can't do right for doing wrong. You can't do wrong for doing right. You're going to find that out soon because nothing that you do is going to be enough. Because Michael Lockwood was legally beating Lisa. She's no longer there for him to legally beat anymore. And it makes me mad that somebody could have this brand, this legacy, this heritage and piss it away on some bloke. Oh, let me come off of here because I feel like I'm twitching. <laughs> I'm talking on Twitch. I have to do another reading in a little bit. Asuka, my name is Auntie Sam. Mwah. Ashe, bless. <sighs> I'll be back. <laughs> Inshallah.
mucho cuidado.